this may be the biggest humanitarian crisis of our generation. Nick Anderson is a high school senior in Massachusetts and the co-founder of Dollars for Darfur. The campaign uses the internet to challenge high school students to raise money for the troubled African region. Dollars for Darfur basically was just uh, a national high school challenge um, that brought together high school students from all over the United States. We wanted to use the social networks, Facebook and MySpace, where there's lots of other young people talking about what they're doing at their high schools, at their colleges, as a competition to raise both awareness and funds uh, for the crisis in Darfur. In the end, we ended up raising a bit over $300,000. And after that, I began working for Oxfam America and became their youth ambassador um, and was lucky enough to go to Darfur. We also took uh, UN humanitarian air service helicopters uh, out to Keb Kabia, uh, one of the villages I visited. It was actually uh, a lot more lush than I was expecting. Uh, when we were flying from Khartoum, uh, it was a pretty sandy um, desert uh, type environment. But once I got out to El Fasher, it was pretty green, uh, really beautiful. My mission was just to talk to young people. And I basically just asked them, uh, what can young people in the United States do for you? I think that uh, helping the young people, um, particularly uh, adolescents, um, is the most important because they're going to be the leaders tomorrow. They're going to be the ones um, who are defining the future of Darfur. I thought that was a really important voice that had to be portrayed and uh, also brought back to my peers here in the U.S. Um, because I think it's, in order to have that human connection, or to have that human connection, uh, is something that uh, brings the conflict uh, a new meaning to young people here and is another motivation uh, to get involved. I did have a, uh, a translator who I worked with when I was in El Fasher. He had come from a village outside of El Fasher and was uh, forced to leave by the violence. Um, and uh, he did lose a couple of family members, but he was an incredible guy, actually. Um, he ended up going to university in El Fasher, learned English, and was doing lots of translating for the local NGOs. I was amazed by uh, the tenacity uh, of, of these young people. You know, they've been through uh, a lot. Almost their whole life they've been experiencing this, uh, this conflict, this crisis, um, and they still want to rebuild their villages um, and you know, get on with life. Because a lot of these people have been there for a long time. These camps are almost becoming cities, almost new homes. And for some younger people, it's the only home they've ever known. Um, so at this point, uh, they want to build themselves soccer fields and community centers and just improve their standard of living. They didn't want to rely on international aid. They wanted to be helped so they could help themselves. Growing up here in Massachusetts, I've never uh, experienced the kind of violence that they've experienced or had to go through uh, having my uh, home taken away from me or anything like that. Uh, so seeing the strength of these people was something that was really amazing to me. I wanted to get back and talk to my friends here, you know, say what I had seen because I don't think that there's anything more valuable than um, a first-hand perspective to get people motivated about an issue. Because when we're just reading these things in the news, uh, as a young person, I know how it feels uh, we see these news reports every day and it, it's numbing after a while, but uh, to hear it from somebody who's your own age um, and has seen it themselves I think is uh, more effective um, and it hits a little bit closer to home. My generation is one that's going to step forward uh, on important issues, obviously, uh, like the crisis in Darfur. And I think as a group, uh, we're one that's ready to make our voice heard and uh, definitely affect change. I would love to go back to Darfur. Uh, I love the people. For me to spend more time there would give me a better perspective and uh, hopefully uh, allow me to represent them even better.